Hey guys, Mac here. We're playing Splinter Cell Blacklist, and this is the Abandoned Mill mission. Obviously, we're still playing on Perfectionist difficulty, and I'm going to make sure to get no kills. During this first section of the map, you're going to want to just run through to the left-hand side. Watch out, there will be a dog that will start chasing you, but if you keep running, no one will spot you, and you will be A-OK. -okay. Once you reach this staircase, there is a guard in front of you, so just drop down, go to the right-hand side, and climb up this pipe. And then just follow uh, some pipes up to the marker. I'm going to quickly describe exactly what I have equipped for this mission and what I use. Um, so I believe I have the bow with sleeping gas equipped. I won't be using the stun gun any longer unless I am forced to use the stun gun. I will be using the bow with sleeping gas. And I also have upgraded my suit to have more stealth. By this time, if you're following along, you should have a ton of money. You should probably have enough money to upgrade... Um, obviously your uh, suit as well as your Paladin aircraft. So I have all the upgrades on the Paladin, although most of them don't really apply to Perfectionist difficulty. Just make sure you have the minimap equipped and you have some suit upgrades. Once we go up here, you're going to want to shimmy on to the right hand side, jump up over and uh, keep to the right hand side here. Now this section I actually do, I believe, almost, almost flawlessly. I screw up right at the end and take out one guy. But if you fix my mistake, you will have no problem doing this section. Go to here, uh, and you'll see there's a guy right there. He might spot you from here, so I was took the safe route, and I climbed up. And for some reason, they can spot you when you're at their lev uh, eyesight level, but if, you're, if there's a random creepy guy shimming across a roof, they won't notice. Drop down. Now keep to the right-hand side. Um jump over here make sure the snipers aren't aimed at you the snipers can see you from extremely far even if um you know you're in the shadows and whatnot if they're aimed at you you're kind of screwed again stay to the right hand side keep on the outside here and uh, use your mini map if you need to but that enemy that's at that balcony doesn't turn around now jump over drop down and on this rooftop in front of you there's usually one sometimes two enemies for me there was two I got a little bit unlucky. What I should have done is jump over the railing right now, but I waited too long and the enemy uh, that's far away from me right now turned around and spotted me, so I did take them out. Although, keep in mind, if you just jumped up and followed exactly what I'm doing five seconds earlier than me, you would have had it flawlessly. I had to take out one guy, so I lose like 100 points, I think. Um, I still completely stealth everything. It's a knockout, we're good to go. Uh, press B to drop down in here. And there will be one guy just chilling here. Um, you can do a variety of things to him. You can do an aerial knockout if you don't really care about the mastery. Or you can uh, take your time and wait. I believe I get ghost mastery, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, you'll see that I do have the bow equipped just in case I needed it. If some something were to happen and I wasn't close enough to do a hand-to-hand, -hand, I could just shoot him with the bow. Um, so once I've waited long enough here, he will eventually come down... And uh, once he's not facing the ladder, jump all the way down. You can slide down. It's uh, silent for some reason. And you're on to the next section where you will get a save. Now in this next section, uh, before we get to the good part, we're going to fast rope down this elevator shaft. And then I'm going to get a little bit disoriented. But um, you climb up and then there's a save right here. And then if you were to restart like I had to because I did screw up you'll uh, come back to this section right before the elevator shaft so now there is a dead drop in this section and I do get it during the run through and I also I don't believe I kill anyone or anything but fast rope down and then climb out the window to your left um, what you're gonna want to do is drop down and then go left um, now to be honest, you can drop down again here and do whatever you want, but it's a little difficult to get this section properly, to be honest. So as you see, I believe I climb in one of these windows and then I climb back out pretty quick because um, there's nothing I can really do here. There's too many enemies and whatnot. We'll see exactly what I do. To be completely honest, I kind of forget as I'm recording my voice probably a few days after I did the mission. So what you want to do is you want to climb into this window, and I believe these two gentlemen will um, make, you know, separate paths, and you're going to want to fall, come out this window. 
Now you can start shimmying on this side of the building. So for this building, you can't go around any of the corners unless you sneak out the windows. Now I'm doing this for the first time, so I got a little bit confused, but climb in through this window here. Make sure there's no enemy facing you. There is an enemy right inside this area. So just make sure he's not facing you and you're good to go. Sneak to the right hand side and come out the window again. Now this path might not be the fastest nor the best, but is, is the only path that I found that can flawlessly get you the dead drop, which is like the intel that you try to collect in every mission. Climb up, climb up, and through the window. I believe there is no, there are no enemies in this area of the map, so you're kind of free to walk around and not worry about much. Now, what I do is I just try to drop down and run straight for that checkpoint. Just be careful. There are a few enemies, and it is a little bit difficult to track exactly where the enemies are because there's so many of them on the mini map, and you don't really know where they are. Um, so just shimmy across here, and once no one's looking, you can drop down and make your way through to this section without being spotted. This will also also trigger a save point, I would hope. And we're gonna keep moving on. Um, this section, again, this is a section I'm doing for the first time, so I am uh, don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm taking my time a little bit. And um, let's see what happens. Okay, so right here you do get a checkpoint. Just jump over and drop down that enemy that is right there. He will not sense you, just make sure you're fast. Once you're in this section, jump up and shimmy across. Now I believe there is a laptop in the room, uh, in the downstairs. You can get that and then restart the checkpoint and it will still count. So that's what happened with me personally and that's why you don't see me getting it. But just be sneaky and get the laptop and then you can redo this section without the laptop and not have to worry about it. Um, from now on I will also be talking about the laptops and dead drops as best as I can so you guys can also get those achievements as you're playing through the uh, single player campaign. Climb onto this little pipe and um, as all these guys are meeting at the fire, this section's a little iffy. You have to kind of time it perfectly and do it just right because there's not that many shadows and the enemies have amazing sight lines but hopefully you make it out like I did and uh, it might take you a few tries and you can also use a sticky noisemaker if you have to I chose not to and once you're in this section you'll get another save point as well as a, a cutscene so through this cutscene here is a section where you're not actually allowed to take out any of the enemies and you're to remain undetected so if you're about to get detected, make sure you just restart the checkpoint so you don't have to deal with any of the repercussions of uh, any of that stuff. Sneak to here, make sure you switch switch off the light and when that enemy in front of you turns around, make a dash for that truck. Press A to enter the truck and even if you're about to get spotted, you can actually just keep going and not worry about it because it starts a cutscene. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So that enemy turns around, I go to the truck and uh, I press A even though there were some markers indicating that some people might see me. As soon as the truck ends, you get a save point and you get put right here. Um, just make your way to the right hand side of the truck all the way to the front where um, you would see the front of the truck and the lights there. And you'll have one enemy on your radar. Um, if you don't have the radar, um, really I'm at a loss for words because this mission is quite difficult without the radar. Although you can try to use your goggles and stuff. So once you sneak around the truck and the enemy's not looking, go through this um, grate in the floor and then just continue on through until you can pop up um, in a different room. Uh, once you're in this room, you're basically untouchable. I mean, there are lights and enemies can see you if, if they really wanted to. I'm sure you could shoot out the lights and or uh, use a light switch, but as long as they're not looking, just walk by. Keep in mind also sometimes when you reload a checkpoint for some reason it'll spawn you with the aggressive weapon. So right now I have my silenced pistol equipped even though I think I had my um, bow equipped earlier which is obviously non-lethal. So make sure you watch out for that. Now there is a target here. I don't know if it's going to be the same target for everyone. I'm still unaware if that's an issue. So I took him out. If uh, he's not a target for you, just wait till he passes by and follow the exact same thing. This section's pretty easy if you do what I did. Um, obviously, like I said, if you didn't have a target, make sure that you uh, waited till he passed by and you'll be fine. Through here, through here, and um, this is a heavily armored guy, so you can't really attack him. Just jump through into the grate in the floor 
and then you'll uh, go through this small sewage section. Now, the controls go really, really crazy here, and what you're supposed to do is get on this ladder and then go down. For some reason, it's really hard to get it to trigger, like you see here. I can't get it to trigger that there's a ladder there, but finally it triggers. You fall through, and there's a save point. Now, I did restart this point, and I did it a little sloppy, but it's not really a big deal. What you want to do is you want to grab onto one of the pipes on the roof, and the only enemies in this section are three dogs. They can be easily distracted using a noisemaker. I was being an idiot and didn't think about it. So, as you see, they're right under me right now, probably barking at me, but you don't worry about them barking at you as there are no actual enemies to come and get you. The, le the worst that can happen is one of the dogs attacks you and you have to press X to break free, and if you break free, it'll knock out the dog, and uh, you'll just get awarded for a knockout rather than an undisturbed um, score. But basically, once none of the dogs are anywhere near you, you can obviously use a sticky noisemaker, which is something I should have done already in the video, although I didn't. Uh, once the dogs are not looking, you can just drop down and sprint to the end of the area where there's a ladder and climb up the ladder to trigger a checkpoint. Um, as you see me doing here, just hold A to sprint. And once you reach the ladder, that section's over with. You don't have to worry about the dogs barking you or hearing you. Um, in this game, usually it's probably a better idea just to like run through the dogs than to try to handle them. So moving on, we are going up the ladder now. And at the top of the ladder, I'm not positive what happens um let's see it takes you a long time to get up to the ladder and so you'll have a short cut scene here where basically it shows that you're getting attacked by like nerve gas and stuff so what's going to happen in this section is you're going to walk by there's actually no way to do this section the whole point of this scripted scenario is that you get caught so you might see a few different walkthroughs on online. I get pretty far into the level in terms of where I'm able to get before I trigger the cutscene. But basically just keep walking towards the, the, the checkpoint until you um, get a cutscene for you passing out. Once you pass out, it'll start the next part of the level. So as you see, I'm able to sneak through all these people and I'm, ba I'm, I'm at the, the checkpoint more or less now and uh, nothing's happening so eventually what will happen as you see now my character falls to the ground and a cutscene starts where I'm captured and then after that cutscene this happens so what you want to do is as soon as this part happens run to the right hand side through there and then you're going to want to follow Briggs for a bit. Make sure you have your stun gun equipped. So as I said, I had my bow initially. And you might be wondering, but how do you have a stun gun now? So what happens is as, as soon as you get captured, all your weapons and gadgets are taken away from you. And all you'll have is your stun gun. Once this section starts, run to the right hand side, up the pipe, uh, up onto this section. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take out all, I think there's like five or six enemies without them um, noticing you and obviously you're going to want to get no kills if you're going for no kills engaged achievement at the same time like me. So drop down um, and then you're going to want to go onto the section. What you want to do for them not to notice you is kill the people in the back and then move your way up. That way the people in the back won't see the people in front of them getting killed and it'll just be easier experience for everyone. So once I'm here there's three enemies. I'm going to want to kill the enemy in the back, which is that guy. I can't get a good shot on him, so I decided to just flip over and bam. One guy, flip over. Make sure you only shoot if your reticle is red. If your reticle is not red, you're going to have to move in closer um, and, because you don't have the proper distance. So there we go. I took out the three guys, which spawns a few more. Take out that guy. Um take out that guy first because he's in the back and he might notice and then take out that guy and this should trigger the next part of the, the mission now as you can see I don't believe you have infinite ammo I have one bullet left uh, or one shock charge in my stun gun left and there's like four or five enemies in the next part that's fine what I could have done is done an aerial knockout on one of those guys with the red goggles and saved some extra ammo 
but it doesn't really matter because in this last section if you're very very passive and just sit there your enemy your uh, teammate AI will take out all the enemies as you see him doing here now it's kind of hard to see I, you could have used I could have used my night vision goggles to help but I decided not to and uh, do not do a front hand-to-hand -hand combat on these guys they will counter you usually if they see you coming so watch out um, as you see, I was going for an enemy in front of me, but my teammate got him, and uh, I used my last bullet on that guy just to get him. And there's one more guy I could have. I was trying to sneak up on him to to get him so that we could finish the level, but I believe my AI takes him out. And once all the enemies are taken out by the AI and or you with your help, you're just gonna want to go uh, follow the Briggs. I believe it's Briggs in this mission. Uh, just follow him to the end of the mission and you will trigger the final cutscene as well as the end of the level. As always, I do show my score for you guys. It is a little fast forward. You'll get an achievement. I did get Ghost Mastery, which is why it's gold. I got no Panther points, no Assault points, all Ghost points, which means everything's A-OK. -okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.